New York City's District Attorney Alvin Bragg has evidently decided, based on all reports, to try to prosecute and jail Donald Trump related to payments he allegedly made through Michael Cohen to this woman, Stormy Daniels, as part of a settlement agreement to ensure that she would not talk about any alleged activities that she may have had with President Trump. This is one of three attacks on Trump from three Democrat political prosecutions across the country. You have the New York prosecution with Bragg and company. You have a prosecution in left-leaning jurisdiction of Fulton County, Georgia, where the leftist DA down there is trying to jail Trump over Trump's efforts to get the government down there to do its job to make sure the elections were free and fair and clean. And of course, you have the other Democratic jurisdiction of Washington, D.C., in this case run by the leftists in the Biden administration, Joe Biden obviously being the president. His Justice Department is trying to jail Trump and others based again on First Amendment protected activity related to disputing the election and this absurd analysis or application of the law related to presidential records that seeks to jail Trump on a dispute related to presidential records. So you have three different leftist jurisdictions run by Democratic politicians, all trying to jail Trump. Don't let the media tell you, oh, there's much more serious stuff in D.C. and in Georgia. No, it's all abusive. It's all political. It's all unprecedented. It's all pretextual. It's all designed to make him a political prisoner in a way that could upend our system of government. And we're supposed to pretend that's normal. That's just the rule of law. And it has nothing to do with the rule of law. It's something that, if it's allowed to continue, will significantly undermine the rule of law, undermine confidence in the fair administration of justice, undermine our Republican form of government, and make a mockery of the United States across the world. And I know the United States isn't perfect. I know there have been political prosecutions in the past, but no president has been uh, subject to this type of politicized, abusive targeting like President Trump. Not only do the Democrats want to make Trump a political prisoner, uh, but they want to censor and abuse and suppress the civil rights of all of his supporters. So in the end, it's not about Trump, but about whether our system of government is going to have rules that people can rely on uh, in a way that reassure them that the law is to be respected. Judicial Watch is standing strong for the rule of law, and I can tell you the left doesn't like it. The left has no problem jailing its political enemies. This behavior is a threat to the foundations of our country and our constitutional government. Trump isn't above the law. No one's above the law, but also no one's beneath the protection of the law, don't you think?